This week marks 75 years since the United States dropped an atomic bomb on Japan. The same day, the government revealed the fuel for the explosion was made at enormous factories hidden in East Tennessee. 10 News reporter Jim Matheny takes us through old newspapers for a daily diary as the world learned about the secret city of Oak Ridge. A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima. When the first atomic bomb hit Japan, the only proof came from the announcement by President Harry Truman. The world saw no pictures, no film, no eyewitness accounts, just the words of the president on the radio and the words in the newspapers. That's where the government revealed where the fuel for the bomb was made. Just a half hour from Knoxville, the Clinton Engineering Works was secretly home to the fifth largest city in Tennessee. More than 40,000 people lived in the secret city of Oak Ridge, where crews had built more than 425 buildings behind the guarded gates. What a story to tell. And there were stories about the people, the busy bus stations, and the business boom it could bring to Knoxville. But mostly how the guessing game was over for all the curious people outside the gates and the workers in Oak Ridge who did not know exactly what their work was for. I was a cubicle operator, and they call it the Catron. I was just pushing buttons and turning knobs. Didn't have the slightest idea they were working on a nuclear bomb. Now that we knew, and with no surrender from Japan, the headlines speculated where the next target could be. One graphic showed it would only take 5,000 of these new atomic bombs to demolish every inch of Japan. That was still before anyone had even seen a picture of the devastation at Hiroshima. The evening paper on August 9th announced a second bomb hit Nagasaki, but still no pictures. It took another three days for the government to release the first photos of the mushroom clouds. From here, it was a waiting game with threats of a third bomb and a countdown to surrender. But the Japanese did not give up August 10th, 11th, 12th, or 13th but finally ended the war August 14th, and the headlines announced peace after the bloodiest war in history. And the presses rolled out celebrations of the work at a secret city, still behind tightly guarded gates that would not open to the public for another four years. In Oak Ridge, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. During the 1940s, historians with the Oak Ridge Library interviewed dozens of people living in the secret city. Here's some of those accounts coming up tonight on 10 News at 6.